First down, Rodgers. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Here's the offensive unit coming out onto the field in just a moment. Randall Cobb, very good at wideout. Went to college to be a quarterback. Discovered his talents couldn't be limited to one position. He's a 1,000-yard receiver every year for his quarterback. Now it's second and seven. First carry now. This is Lacey. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. To me, that's a superior play by the backer because he was allowed to, I think, run free on it and make that play. His defensive linemen, they covered things down for him because offensive guys, the linemen, what they're trying to do, as you know, is block the guy at the point of attack and then climb to the next level and get the linebacker. And you're not allowed to climb. You got a free hitter, and that's what we saw there. And a really nice play resulted for them. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. They'll come out in the pistol. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. Jerry in was the target, and that'll bring up second down. And for this offensive unit, Eddie Lacy, sometimes he even has the Auburn fans saying roll time. Now that's big right there because for them to say that, wow, that tells you how good a talent he really is. When he gets rumbling, the field tilts in his favor. Maybe I overstepped my bounds there a bit, but he's good. Brandon, you never want to get in the middle of Alabama versus Auburn. Rodgers again here on second and ten. On the move to his left. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And let's get a look at the Green Bay defense. Julius Peppers, some would call him the grand old man. He'd hate that. He just want to be a seasoned veteran who continues to make plays at a Pro Bowl level. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. So here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So on fourth down, the call's out for Tim Maste to punt it away. Back deep for the Packers, Micah Hyde. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And this will be touched down across midfield at the 45-yard line. So the flag is for roughing the kicker a big 15-yard penalty. And I'm not sure if that was the time to go all out after the kicker. Plenty of time left in this game.
Packers now on first down. It gets it over the middle to Cobb. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Play clock winding down. Rodgers now on first down. Backing up. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Dayton Jones in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. Off the play fake to Lacey. Here's Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The evolution of Clay Matthews as a player is just one that they, they're going to end up writing books about. He didn't even start until his senior year at USC. He didn't start in high school. And now he's at all-pro level in the NFL. How about the play he just made there? And he has certainly made a name for himself. William Clay Matthews III. Rodgers going to give to Lacey on the draw. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. Or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. We're back to Lambeau in just a moment. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. Second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And this defense will take over right at midfield. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. 
Now a first down carry. It's Lacey. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Give the tackle there to Morgan Burnett. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Rodgers to throw on second down. And they're going to bring him down. Back across midfield at the 45. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Second down, sacked by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. On third and long, it's Rodgers. And this is going to be incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. So out of bounds on the punt, and the spot will be, the side judge says, right at, yeah, right at the 35-yard line here. And now the Packers get set to go. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it up. But he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Of the line. We'll see what his offense can do. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On first down, Rodgers escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Rodgers will try again on second down. Over the middle, Rodgers has it. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Rodgers to throw on third and one. Open man, the tight end, Rodgers. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. And Richard Rodgers makes the grab, and let's face it, it's going to follow him the rest of his career. The Hail Mary he caught to beat the Lions in 2015 in Detroit, pretty memorable play. Those Lions fans, they just don't like you right now if they heard that. I didn't mean to bring it up to, you know, pull the Band-Aid off the wound there. I was just trying to praise Richard Rodgers. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be mad at me. To throw, it's Rodgers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mike Daniels in there to get him for a loss of five. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. 
but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. On second down, Lacey. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. He lost two there. And it's third down. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with Larry Ridley for highlights and analysis of our first half of play. Not too many highlights yet, at least in terms of scoring plays, that is. Yeah, but hang in there. We might get something these last two minutes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Incomplete. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring <laughs> it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. 319! 319! Rodgers now on first down. A dump off to Lacey. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. And with his size coming out of the backfield, usually takes more than an arm tackle to get him down. That's why they like to get him involved in the passing game. No doubt about it. You saw him running that angle route there and catching the ball. And with his size, not often thought to have hands. But we're hearing that more and more. Guys are doing a better job of catching the ball at any size coming out of the backfield because they need to be a full part of the offense. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not the... Over, ...gets into enemy territory. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Rodgers now on first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Second down here after the incomplete pass. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now a play fake here on first down. Finding time. He's going to let this one go deep. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. I'm not quite sure how he wasn't able to hold on to that one in the end zone. A great opportunity lost, but a lot of relief for the defensive guys. When they get into film next week, they're going to want to know what happened. Where was the breakdown that almost allowed a touchdown? Rodgers again here on second and ten. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. We know how to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. 
So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Surveying the field. Packer pressure and down he goes. Mike Daniels in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Well, the defense was in prevent. They still get there. That means that there's absolutely nowhere to throw the football. No one came open because now you're really getting three guys rushing the quarterback. Five guys should be able to block them, but sometimes time just takes it up and end up getting to him. Here's Tim Maste now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. on the field but no action right now on the scoreboard at least as of yet nothing nothing is our score as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report and never mind Larry these two teams apparently anxious to get back at it this fielded a few yards into the end zone Last year, that would have been a net gain of five on the return. This year, he stopped where he would have been if he had taken a knee, and that's at the 25. The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll see which avenue they choose to go down. 13 yards there on the pickup, and that leads to a Green Bay first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. On second down, here's Rodgers. Over the middle, Rodgers has it. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. down as Rodgers. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. time and it'll be a third and long situation coming up 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. To throw is Rodgers. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Well, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. They've got great field position, obviously, to start this drive. Tie game. Do you maybe go a little riskier here with that great field position? I think some guys look at it and say, let's go. Go. Be aggressive. Be bold. Let's get it downfield right now. Other guys will look at it and say, you know something? I think we're in a position to get three points if we don't make any big mistakes. Run our offense, get in that spot, and see if you get the three, and hopefully, maybe even more. Either way, I bet they're happy to have options. Again, it's Lacey. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. To throw, it's Rodgers. Dropping it off for starts. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. One back is Lacey. Rodgers now on first down. This is Cobb with a catch right side. That throw good for four. It's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Rodgers with a give. It's Lacey. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards the game there. And now they're left with a third and about four for a first. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Rodgers going to throw. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Mike Daniels in there to drop him for a loss of 10. And it'll be fourth and long. And now here is Mason Crosby, the Packers' all-time leading scorer, but now lining up in a different uniform. He'll have the win back now at Lambeau. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. And Crosby puts it through, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So it took a while to get something, anything, on the scoreboard, but we finally have our first points of the contest. And now this becomes a question of can they make this stand up? The defense has been impeccable thus far, and now they need to go out and finish strong. Set to return, this is Jeff Janis. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. 
see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it. It's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. Rodgers brings it in. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. One back is Lacey. Rodgers now on first down. And complete right side to Cook. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And he slings one that's incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll make a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Rodgers will try again on second down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Hold on. Offense. Yeah, that right there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. Rodgers again now. And Cook has it, left side. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in the bunch. I mean, we talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And this kick is not going to get there. It's short and no good. Well, this winds up in empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They go play action here on first down. Caught by Nelson left side. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Oh, and the hard count might have got them. This might be a first down. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So that's the word from the referee. Neutral zone infraction, five yards. And, of course, the defense is always pointing at the offense about how they drew them across. 
Flag goes against the defenders on that one. Following the penalty now, Lacey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Give him 18 on that one. And the Packers are going to have a first down. All the elements of what you want out of a play came together on that one. A really nice run, took care of the football, and even more importantly, taking the clock under four minutes now. At this stage of the game, how do you bleed out the clock, take care of the ball, and make sure the other team doesn't have a chance to come back on you? You're looking at your sheet, how many timeouts are left, how many runs do we need to close it out? That's what the coach is looking at right now. Situational football, trying to gain a victory. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. Mike Daniels in there to bury him for a loss of 11. And the offense here just looking to stay in bounds, complete the short passes, and put this game on ice. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Defense maybe trying to guess the snap count Still there, and it costs them five yards. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. And Crosby puts it through, and that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but think, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of a team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starting in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. Now starts. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. He's back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six yard line. And that one. Oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the...
Hello, my name is Kamal. I I I am from the clouds. I'm a human. I'm a human now, but I used to be. I used to be a ranger. Word up. I'm really good at putting words up. I make them levitate and circle with the birds. I don't need to force it. I let it occur. But